inside, bomb the spot, no cheating, freestyles, punchlines, nothing pre-written, no thinking, spitting, keeping it fresh, keep your head up in the game, cause who knows what's next? What's up everybody, look at the top show. Thank you very, very much for being here. We are not going to waste any time, so we're going to get right to our first game called Clams. And for that, I'm going to hand over to my homegirl, Lauren. Thank you, Lloyd. I am your homegirl. Uh, so earlier, Lloyd asked for some common household objects. We're going to be pulling some of those online. I'll also get some from you in the audience. Let me explain what we're going to do with your suggestions. Uh, I need Josh, Lloyd, Bill, and Chris to the stage. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going to happen is they're going to take your suggestions and use them to create and deliver their very best action hero style puns. And when I say puns, I mean groaners. Like the worse, the better. Oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> Guten Tag. I have for you a gift. Oh, thank the you. clump. Oh. Oh. If you say something that is Unfunny, you get a clump. Unpunny, you get a clump. Or I just don't like your face, you get a clump. Whatever it is. Is that for this game or like just in life in general? <laughs> <laughs> it's for right. both. Oh, jeez. Start the game so I can start as a clumping. God, you sick bitch. Who hurt you? <laughs> what happened to you in childhood? All right, so I guess their incentive to tell good jokes is that they're going to get clamps on them. Uh, but you, the audience, are going to have to help us decide who gets clamped. So if someone tells a joke that just sucks, I need everybody to start chanting. Clams, 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 You're all bread. <laughs> all right, oh, you skated back. <laughs> that was crummy. <laughs> I just wanted to see my children. Ah, ah, ah. Sorry, I was just looking for an outlet for my aggression. <laughs> Oh! I got back. 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 No, I got back. But I got back. But I made it back. It's not Red Rover. But I got back. Hey, what's up? You like it. You like it. Oh, oh, oh. Get back there. Different circumstances. We might get along. Yo, what up, Jive Turkey? Flip over, because you're about to get burned. Oh! Yeah! Yeah, I will. Teapot. Oh, it's so quaint. I love it. Teapot. <laughs> you should have wore a full kettle jacket. <laughs> it was supposed to be Christmas with my family. Ah, 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 ah. Simmer down. <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. That guy, that guy. Like, Just one guy. <laughs> Yo, what up, Jive Turkey? I just busted your knees out. Looks like you're short and stout. Oh, come on! You can't kill me. I'm wearing camo meal. No, I'm vetoing that. That was brilliant. All right. Really respect that. All right, we're going to go online now. This is from Fluffy Puffy Pony. <laughs> it's probably like a 50 year old dude, like, yeah. Uh, the suggestion is Piggy Bank. Piggy Bank. Yo, what up, Jab Turkey? If there's one thing you're going to have to remember, there's going to be some change around here. Uh, yes! Uh, <laughs> I'm here because you all needed savings. This one, this one, this time, all right? You bitch. 
Thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Drop a dime, start a crime. <laughs> Well, you gotta get away from well, me. Hey, check that out over there. <laughs> oh, you made it worse! Ay, you made it worse! No! Even the Mr. You did that to yourself! I did. <laughs> we were just at a Little League game. We were just at a Little League game. Ah, ah, ah! It's all so senseless. What the fuck goes in a piggy bank? Sense! Why did they say What go- You look at me like- Are you from another country, all of you? <laughs> oh. Take it to the back, guys! <laughs> all right, guys, this is really exciting because I will tell you right now, Chris Gorbos has not lost a game of clamps since- 2004! 2004! Don't incentivize them! <laughs> I'm just telling facts. All right. Uh, can I get a suggestion of another? Well, what is that? Mop. mop. The suggestion is mop. Mop. I just waxed your ass. Wow. I knew that was coming. Do you know how a mop works? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's the worst. Oh. Body is rejecting. It's okay. This looks I'm, like it's turning into a different kind ow. of thing. Oh. Oh. No, it's all good. I'm going to win this one. Oh. Here we go. Oh. oh, we were having such a good picnic. Gah, gah, gah. I did that because you were acting like a little bleach. Oh. Oh. All right. They like don't want to like it, but they can't say clam because it works. Deny. Yo, what up, Jack Turkey? <laughs> Is this your blood all around the floor? Caution, slippery when wet. <laughs> no, come on, that's a that's a good one. Oh uh, uh, fuck. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. oh. I'm gonna send all of you to hell. <laughs> Clean up an aisle hell. <laughs> ah! All right, all right, we got two guys with two. It's getting close. Um, back to online from at Kevco542. The suggestion is candles. Uh, candles. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, 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 ah. Uh, that took a little wick of time. Oh, I'm sorry. Guys, our next game is Foreign Flicks. But first, we need help from our friends in London and Tokyo. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah! All throughout the week, we asked you guys to tweet in movie genres and uh, titles of movies that have not been made yet. Now we're gonna invite Robin and Lauren to the stage! They're going to be giving us movie reviews for these made-up films, okay? And they're gonna be throwing the clips with the help of our friends in London and Tokyo. Now, all I need from you guys is a suggestion of an occupation and or hobby. Mechanic. Mechanic! Take it away for foreign flicks! Hey! What's up, everybody? Welcome to foreign flicks. Yeah! I'm Beth. And I'm Tony C. That's right, Beth and Tony C. Bringing you the movie reviews. Yeah, now when we're not re 
restoring 57 Chevys and the like. Every day of our life. Yeah, forever. <laughs> hey. We're at the movie, mm. checking out some flicks. Yeah, and we like to keep it global, you know. We watch foreign flicks. We're educated yeah, mechanics. Yeah, yeah, we ain't just a couple of grease monkeys. Oh. We've been places. Okay. We got cars all over. Yeah, they have cars everywhere. <laughs> all right, tell me where they don't have them. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, you know where they do have them? Where? London. Yeah. They got cars there with steering wheels on the opposite side. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's crazy. It's insane, you know, I don't understand it, but I like to experience yeah, it. Yeah, that's right. So we checked out this British movie. This British filmmaker made an, a movie. It is, it's a, it's a B movie science fiction. Yeah, you yeah, know, like one of those like super cheesy sci-fi movies. Super cheesy, you know? not an A movie, it's a B movie. And it is, uh, it's titled, It Came From The X. Planet Pluto. Yeah, Pluto ain't a planet no more. Smart. <laughs> Filmmaker smart. knew that. They're really smart over there. Yeah, and so what this movie is about yeah. is these astronauts mm. who feel super bad right. that Pluto, you know, wasn't allowed to be a planet yeah. no more, so they went there and they found something pretty amazing. Oh, this is it. <laughs> we cannot reveal more. We're just going to have to show you the clip. Let's yeah. take a look. Damn cold out here. Yes, you're not wrong. <laughs> My alien tentacles are rather chilly. Yes, I can see that they're somewhat more shrunk than they were at the start of our conversation. Oh, I'm sorry, Cyril. I don't mean to look less than my best for you. We're both under a lot of pressure. Get, get away from me, you vile fiend. Now, listen here. Tell me, Cyril. I've got people waiting on Earth, expecting me to come back with an alien corpse. And I want you to be it. No! Cyril, wait! I found something on Pluto that can make everything better! Out with it, I'm loading my gun. Oh, it's the Queen, Cyril! It's the Queen of England! Her Majesty. Uh, hello. <laughs> I love Pluto. Come on. Crazy, right? That's what you thought was going to happen. I, that's why we could not tell you this ahead of time. Yeah. The queen popped yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. Also, middle. you might not have recognized oh. her under all the alien makeup, but that alien was played by Kira Knightley. Kira Knightley. <laughs> she sings, yeah. she's British, and she plays an alien. What can she do? She's amazing. Yeah. You know, I do like Kira Knightley. I felt a little, a little disconnected from this film. I'm sure. going to be honest. I wanted to like it, okay. but I wasn't totally blown away, so uh, I'm gonna give it two General Motors recalls. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of hear what you're saying. Yeah. Uh, you know, I really enjoyed it, but I felt like the ending was sort of a letdown, uh. so uh, I give it three monkey wrenches and a bitter divorce. <laughs> <laughs> That's spot on. That's yeah, spot on. Right, thanks, thanks, man. Thanks, yeah. man. So we saw another movie oh, we did. after oh. that one. Yeah, we did. Oh, this was uh, a, a, by a, a Japanese, Japanese yeah. filmmaker. Japanese filmmaker. Yes, it was. Yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> it had a long ass title. It has a title. We don't have a genre because the title is so long. Uh, it's called. It's called Cocaine. The Comeback, a fantasy starring Gandalf the Grey as Epic Lloyd. Yeah. Now, keep in mind, this is a Japanese film, so maybe the translation of the title got a little convoluted. I mean, I, or maybe it was on purpose. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but uh, basically, yeah. we're seeing a comeback story. Cocaine yeah. is actually the name of a prize fighter. It is, and cocaine was down on his luck. Yeah, All no right? good. Uh, and then he, he had the match of his life mm -hmm. versus uh, 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 Gandalf the, the Grey as Epic Lloyd. Yeah. He was playing, yeah, he was fighting. Yeah, he was fighting. A okay. fictional character with, and, a, and, a, and a rapper yep. guy who produced this show. Absolutely. <laughs> Once again, it's complicated. It, impossible to fully grasp the explanation. Let's take a look at that. Yeah, yeah, I'm finally coming back with my last game. What? That's amazing. Here I go. You are too slow for it, that. Uh, mm, uh, you. <laughs> That's right. You shall not pass. Get away from me. Oh, stop twirling. I got you now. 
All right, excuse me. See how that goes. I'm cocaine. <laughs> and I'm insane. You want some snow? I mean, cocaine. <laughs> what I'm talking That's about. That's a great flick right That there. was an amazing flick. I don't know how anyone could argue with that. No, it's fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, I loved, I love this movie. Yeah. I gave it three orange jumpsuits and a, hey, what are you talking about? Oh, see, that's a good rating system you got there. <laughs> Mine's a little more simple. Uh, I'm just gonna give it three full tanks of gas and a Christmas tree new car smell. Yeah, nothing beats that new car nothing smell. Nothing beats it. So that was our weekend at the yeah. Movies. Tune in next week for more foreign flicks. That's right. See you later. Our next game that we're going to play is called Rap Battles. We all know Lloyd from the epic rap battles of history, and we're about to battle right here on stage for you. But before we do that, we need to introduce a very special guest. Please welcome to the stage the very funny and talented Mr. Zach Sherwin. <laughs> Hi, Zach. How are you? Hey, man. I'm doing great. Thanks. Are you prepared and excited to battle? So prepared and even more excited. Great. Zach, where can people find you online if they're looking for you? YouTube.com slash Zach Sherwin. Great. Perfect. Great. All right. Let's get all of our improvisers up on stage. From you in the studio audience, uh, and if you're at home right now, start uh, sending Adipic Lloyd some suggestions of historical figures, fictional figures, anyone you want to see rap battle. We're going to take the first one from in the room. So uh, from you guys here, can I get a suggestion of a historical figure? Great. Uh, Napoleon will be this side, and let's get a suggestion of somebody who is a historical figure, but maybe the opposite of Napoleon. Charlie Chaplin. Charlie Chaplin. <laughs> Napoleon versus Charlie Chaplin. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but even though about a hundred years separated these two guys, they have been battling for years. Yo, DJ, drop a beat. Yo, I usually don't speak, but I'm gonna do it now so I can rip you, man. Here we go. <clears throat> oh, yo, I'm the master of the silent cinema. I'm gonna verbally gut right India. <laughs> yo, you know what? You had a lot of France, but you lost it cause you're short and you didn't take a chance. What? I got the fans amped, I'm the lyrical champ. It's no problem for me to step up and diss this little tramp. Step to me on the mic, you'll get kicked in the butt. So do like your film genre and keep your mouth shut! short homie but it's better than watching your silent movies yeah we're both a blast from the past but i'm gonna teabag your hitler mustache oh damn damn it used to be called a chaplain mustache i don't like the french or the quebecois so you can't bully vous coucher avec moi i'm gonna hit you in the face and knock you all away you know that knock you in the chin and knock off your sideways boat hat